Francis Kelsey, a Canadian doctor who had become a drug official in the United States, it was the early 60s and Dr. Francis Kelsey was under fire, branded a bureaucratic whiner by drug makers for blocking thalidomide from American drugstore shelves. The problem is some drugs may not show a toxicity uh, until they've been used for several years. Her unflinching courage spared the United States from one of the worst drug disasters in medical history. The, uh bottom part of the arm was missing and she had four fingers and no legs. Thalidomide was given to pregnant women as a cure for morning sickness and insomnia. Thousands of babies died. Many more were born severely deformed. The drug was approved in 46 countries, including Canada. Dr. Kelsey was hailed as a heroine in the United States. The near tragedy prompted President John F. Kennedy to strengthen the Food and Drug Administration's authority. There's a picture of mom in the 60s. More than half a century later, Dr. Kelsey was honored in this country. Knowing she was near death, officials went to London, Ontario to give her the Order of Canada just yesterday. She was um, very happy to be recognized by Canada and um, I was very happy that the Governor General's office was able to get her the award um, while she was still alive. For thalidomide survivors in this country, Dr. Kelsey is an icon. I never got a chance to meet her, but we were just talking about the difference that somebody can make when they don't think they can actually change the world, and she did. Doctor, pharmacologist, wife, and mother, and to many a courageous public servant who saved countless families from the unthinkable. Dr. Kelsey died this morning at the age of 101. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.